Jerusalem has been the spiritual center of the Jewish people for 3,000 years, dating back to the time when King David conquered the city and established it as the capital of the Jewish nation. The task of erecting the first temple fell to David's son, Solomon. The crowning achievement of Solomon's reign became the center of Jewish life and worship. The first temple stood for 400 years until Jerusalem was captured by the Babylonians, who razed the holy city and took the people into exile. The temple was rebuilt and then expanded under Roman rule. This magnificent edifice stood for another 400 years, until it too was destroyed in 70 AD. The temple was engulfed in flames until all that remained was a portion of the Western Wall. For over 2,000 years, the restoration of God's holy city of Jerusalem has been on the hearts and lips of the Jewish people who were driven from their homeland. As the years wore on, next year in Jerusalem became the prayer of Jews around the world at the close of the Seder meal. In 1947, while the United Nations authorized the rebirth of Israel, it refused to recognize Jerusalem as its rightful capital, a devastating decision that has become nearly a universal policy among Western nations. The Arab-Israeli war that followed resulted in a divided city. Western Jerusalem became Israeli's capital city, while Eastern Jerusalem, including its many holy sites, was occupied by Jordan. In 1967, a new day dawned for God's chosen people as Israel found itself engulfed in war with its neighbors. Surrounded, outgunned, and outnumbered, and against all odds, the Israeli army took back the old city of Jerusalem, including the Temple Mount, and a united Jerusalem was once again the capital of the Jewish people. For 50 years now, the world has refused to recognize the historical, legal, moral, and prophetic right of Israel to Jerusalem, and to this day, no country has established an embassy there. In 1995, the Congress overwhelmingly adopted the Jerusalem Embassy Relocation Act, acknowledging Jerusalem as the capital of Israel and that our embassy should be relocated there by 1999. Unfortunately, the law contained a loophole that allowed the president to issue a waiver every six months to keep the embassy in Tel Aviv. Since 1999, every president has said they would comply with the Relocation Act, but in the end, they all signed the waiver. During his campaign, President Trump promised to move our embassy to Jerusalem. As president, he appointed David Freeman as ambassador to Israel, a strong supporter of the move. But so far, no progress towards that goal has been made. Haven't God's chosen people waited long enough? Every other nation on earth has the right to choose its capital city, except Israel. This year marks the 50th anniversary of the reunification of Jerusalem. 50 years of waiting, hoping, praying. Today, we invite you to join us in encouraging President Trump to make good on his promise. First, by praying for Jerusalem and our president. Second, by signing the petition addressed to President Donald Trump, urging him to stand with Israel and an undivided Jerusalem. Third, by sharing this important issue with your friends, your family, your neighbors, and co-workers, and ask them to sign the petition as well. www.movetheembassy.com